All right, we're going to turn to political news now this morning. The political note, now the latest from the president and the White House. Overnight, the Trump administration revealing their list of demands they say need to be met to strike a deal on protecting the so-called dreamers, young undocumented immigrants brought here as children. Democratic leaders quickly responding this morning, saying the president can't be serious. Had a lot of reaction coming in to Vice President Pence's decision to walk out of an NFL game Sunday after players took a knee during the national anthem. The vice president saying he did not want to, quote, dignify such an event. And the feud between President Trump and a powerful GOP Senator Bob Corker is intensifying this morning. Senator Corker telling the New York Times that Trump's reckless threats could be putting the U.S., quote, on the path to World War III. Our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, is in Washington with the latest on all of this. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning to you. This is a stunning war of words. A senior Republican senator going after the president, bashing him publicly in ways even few Democrats do. It is an extraordinary public rebuke of a sitting president by a member of his own party. In an interview with the New York Times, Tennessee's Bob Corker blasting President Trump, saying he treats the office like a reality TV show and is so reckless, the nation could be on the path to World War III. Corker said in several instances he's hurt us as it relates to negotiations that were underway by tweeting things out. And the hits did not end there. Corker said it takes a tremendous amount of work by people around the president to keep him in the middle of the road. And that, quote, I know for a fact that every single day at the White House, it's a situation of trying to contain him. It capped a day of stunning infighting aired for all the world to see. After Corker made this jab last week. Secretary Tillerson, Secretary Mattis, and uh, Chief of Staff Kelly are those people that help separate our country from chaos. On Sunday morning, the president punched back on Twitter, saying Corker begged me to endorse him for re-election. I said no, and he dropped out, said he could not win without my endorsement, adding he didn't have the guts to run. Corker disputed those claims Thanks, and lady, fired uh, back, uh, tweeting, it's a shame the White House has become an adult daycare center. Someone obviously missed their shift this morning. And Corker says he is not alone, telling the New York Times nearly every Republican in the Senate shares his concerns about the president. And Cecilia, on that note, Corker had another quote that's really raising a lot of eyebrows from that article. He said, I don't know why the president tweets out things that are not true. You know he does it. Everyone knows he does it, but he does. Again, this is a member of his own party. Yeah, I mean, he's essentially calling the president a liar there. And Corker is a vital vote for President Trump. He sits on the Senate Budget Committee. He chairs the Foreign Relations Committee. President Trump is going to need him on things, Robin and David, like Iran and tax reform. But this is just a stunning, stunning turn of events. It is. And in the meantime, Cecilia, as we watch this back and forth with Bob Corker play out, a fellow Republican, we're following another uh, major political headline this morning involving immigration and the Dreamers, the 800,000 undocumented uh, immigrants. They were children brought here by their parents. We remember that dinner, Cecilia, you reported on it. The president, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, the Democratic leaders came out saying major progress on the Dreamers without tying it to the wall. That doesn't appear to be the case anymore. Yeah, exactly. It sounds like President Trump is attaching conditions to this deal to allow uh, DACA recipients to stay in this country. He wants funding for a border wall. He wants a tougher legal immigration system in this country. The response, you said it, David, from Chuck and Nancy, as, the, as, it, as uh, he calls them, this administration can't be serious. All right. Cecilia Vega with a lot going on at the White House this morning. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.